Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is John and I'm a lab statistician here at Global Energy Laboratories. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how we go around testing frac sand for its sphericity and roundness properties. Sphericity is a measure of how close each individual particle of sand represents that of a sphere. This is really important because a sphere is one of the strongest naturally made shapes. Roundness, on the other hand, is a measure of how that individual particle of sand, how smooth it is or how jagged. So for example, if you had something that had really sharp conical points sticking off of it, that would have a very low rating for roundness. Or if you had something that was perfect, looked just like a billiard ball, then that would have a very high roundness score. Roundness is important because when you pump these materials down hole and they're under pressure, those sharp points are going to be the ones that are going to get it knocked off first. So the pore spaces that these pieces of sand actually are creating will get plugged by these broken off bits, reducing the amount of porosity and permeability and how much oil you can actually flow back out of that well. So sphericity has a scale of 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 0 0.9. Roundness, on the other hand, has a scale of 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, and 0 0.9. Zero actually means it's the worst subscore you can get for frac sand. It's not going to be very strong, it's going to break apart easily, and it's just going to clog up the pore spaces that you fracked in the first place. A 0.9 is, however, the highest score you can give a frac sand. This means, as I said earlier, that it has the perfect billiard ball shape, very smooth, very uniform. It's going to be the strongest frac sand to pump down hole and keep those fractures open for you. To perform this analysis, we take a small amount of sand, anywhere from 1 to 15 grams, and we go ahead and we place it underneath a microscope. From there, we search for a spot that has at least 20 individual grains of sand that aren't overlapping or touching each other so that we can have a full, clear view of all the edges and we can accurately make a judgment of the sphere scene around us properties. At this point, we go ahead and print off an image. Now with the printed image in hand, we'll go through and we'll number particles 1 through 20. We like to typically start in the middle on the way out. That way we have a good random sampling and we're not just skipping over ones, we're collecting the full image. So, go ahead and start in the middle. And there's all 20 numbered particles. After that, we go ahead and compare every single particle to this chart up here, which has the 0 to 0.9 values for sphericity and roundness, with of course sphericity being on the y-axis, roundness being on the x. This is a purely visual interpretation, so it takes a lot of practice to actually become consistent and true with your values. These values are then placed into a spreadsheet with sphericity in the, our Y column and roundness in our X. The values are averaged together and both values of sphericity and roundness must score at least a 0.6 to be considered frac sand. So that was our overview of how Global Energy Laboratories tests its frac sands for its sphericity and roundness properties. I hope you enjoyed this video and for any more information on who we are, what we're doing, or what we might be able to do for you in the future, please check out our website, globalenergylaboratories.com. Thank you.